Hello YouTube. About 6 months ago I bought a Moto E 2nd Gen 4G and couple of weeks ago I rooted it and installed the Tumin recovery project on it and even a custom kernel. Everything was going all fine but a uh, few days ago Motorola rolled out an update for the device and uh, I downloaded it but while installing it gives me an error because I have installed the Quark recovery and the update requires a custom recovery. So in this video I am going to show you how you can restore back the stock recovery which was given originally from Motorola. So let's get started. I am going to follow the procedure shown in the XDA forum. I have given the link to that forum in the description below and we have to download some files before we can start the process. Uh, the files which you require is the Motorola drivers. You have to also download the minimal ADB fastboot and the firmware of your device and I also given the link where you can get the firmware of your device and you should carefully download the firmware which is particularly built for your device If you are not sure which file to download then go to the settings menu of your phone from there go to about devices and check the build number uh, given on your phone and match with the build number given on the download link. All the files that you have downloaded from the site you must extract it and keep it in the same folder for this process to successfully work. Now power off the phone and you have to reboot your phone in the bootloader mode. You can reboot your phone in the bootloader mode by pressing the power button and the volume down button simultaneously. Once you have rebooted your phone in the bootloader mode, the next thing that you have to do is connect your phone with an USB cable to the PC. Once you have connected it, then open a command prompt and you have to navigate to the folder where you have extracted the zip file of the firmware. Navigate to the <coughs> specific directory by using the cd command, type cd and then uh, write the path where you want to navigate then hit enter now you are in that specific directory where the firmware is extracted you can see confirm it by typing the dir command you can see that all the firmware files are present there that means you have navigated to the correct directory the next thing that you have to do is go to the XDS site and either copy these codes one by one and paste it in the command prompt or you can download and run this batch file. But I am going to copy and paste these codes one by one in the command prompt and I will show you for just one line and the rest I will skip until I have gone through all these codes. Now copy this uh, first line and paste it in the command prompt and hit enter. You will see a uh, status code OK and you have to repeat this uh, for all the lines of codes. Ok now I am copying the last line of code. And now I have done gone through all the codes and now we have to reboot the device and it will boot into the stock firmware. 
if your device doesn't boot up by itself then boot it manually and uh, i have done it and now my device is running the stock firmware uh, released by motorola and now it's formatted and it's just a brand new device so that was it uh, i have successfully installed the stock firmware in my device and if you are facing uh, the same problem like I was facing before not able to install the updates then I think this video will help you and, and thanks for watching please hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe